What's up Aquarius? It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today you already know what's up. I'm back with a July 2021. The lies they're telling the secrets they keep. I'm telling you these months are going by so fast. I can't believe it's the month of July already. Alright guys, so without further ado, because I know y'all been waiting for a reading for, <laughs> for all week. So we about to hop right in. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for the astrological sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of July 2021, Spirit. Yeah, mm, perchance to dream. Yeah. This is escapism. This is someone that uses escapism as a way of like escaping a their current reality. And this can be through so many things. This can even be through sleeping a lot. But this can also be through like sex. Just living a double life, like escaping your current reality through acting like it's not your current reality. So that's the individual that's coming towards you. And so this person could have been lying about who they were in general. Like you may not know this person at all because they depicted whatever it is that they truly wanted to be to you through how they acted towards you. And you may be getting ready to find out in the month of July that this person is nothing like that at all. Okay. Now, I understand that this does not have to be romantic. This can be anything. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. No wonder somebody is trying to escape their escape they current reality because they faded to suffer. Somebody took some temptation here. Something poisonous. And I feel like this could be something that is like determining the rest of their life here. The, ven the venom is going to continue to fester. This is what I'm hearing. I call it in the storm. And so this person is angry. Maybe they feel like you have something to do with it. But if not, then this person is just combative because they know that it's something over their life. It's like a dark cloud over this individual. But also, I feel like this person brought this, whatever this is, into their life. Their, whatever fate they caught into their life, they summoned it. They attracted it. Or they gave in to it. And I don't know what this is. Like, what does this person think that they can do? Like, exchange fate with you or something? Because it's almost like they want to battle you for yours. I feel like you could be going through a whole freaking lot as it pertains to, to whoever this is. But you keep remaining peaceful because you realize that when you give in to whatever this person is trying to do to you it essentially trades off energy with them and maybe if you do it enough this person can get what it is that they want from you which is to ex exchange lives period so maybe now you're pulling back your energy okay this could have been like a ride or die or somebody you thought was a ride or die, like an ace boon coon or whatever. It could have been a bestie, somebody that you thought that you were going to marry um, or even a family member. But you realizing that this person's presence in your life is going to end up having to be temporary because of their intentions. So, again, I ain't getting no romance here. The closest thing I'm getting to romance is this succubus incubus energy. 
But I feel like this person found other ways to drain your energy, even if they can't have sex with you. Even if they have to enter into your dreams. Because it is like this person is hovering over someone with the crown. Wow, I didn't even realize that as this person is like laying down sleeping, it's like fragments of them that's kind of coming away from them. And maybe that's what this person is trying to do to you. They could be trying to lethally inject you with their poisonous venom until it transmutes your light into darkness. And somehow they feel like they'll be able to trade out fate with you. Or if they don't think that, they don't give a damn as long as somebody go down with them. Mm. All right. Let's clarify per chance to dream here. Why is her chance to dream here? Ooh, nightmares, man. This could be causing you a lot of turmoil when it comes down to your sleep. Maybe it's waking you up out of your sleep. It can actually be causing things in the brain. Like if this person is entering your psyche or they're causing you pains in your body, including your head. I feel like this person could be making you feel mentally imbalanced and your heart as well. Because maybe this is something that you kind of realize and you feel around this person. Wow, that they not a real friend or a real lover or they a fake ass business partner that stuck you. And this person could have definitely came to you cloaked in this energy with an opportunity no matter what that is like i said this person could have came to you with a business offer they could have came into your life to actually make it seem like they were going to love you and in reality it's like this person just like they have in the grand scheme of things this person is really trying to break you down you know emotionally and mentally to be honest with you whoever this person is it's like wow they came into your life as true love but they weren't, they were not. With the Ace of Cups here, this person don't want you to get true love either. So I feel like they could continue to tempt you with certain things. No matter what that is, they could be using different tactics to keep coming back into your life. You know, and at some point you're going to have to end up standing your ground here with this calling in the storm. Because no matter how much this person is like feeding you and feeding you, they feeding you poison. This person is poisonous. They may even do something like that. I mean, look at that dove. They they come off as pure and angelic, but then they is something. I mean, I know that, that's like a bread. That's like a bread offering. Oh, but this person is like also oh, other shit. And we already talking about poison. So this person, instead of coming with an apple, because who about to come over your house with a fucking apple? You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably come over with some wine. Like, you know what? Let's rekindle what we had before. I know I hurt you in the past. I know I might have really shocked you. Maybe you feel like I switched up on you. I was just going through a hard time. You know? And if it was your female friend, girl, I was just going through it. I really hope that we can mend things back together. This person may even try to get you intoxicated off of whatever this is. But this situation is not meant to turn out the way that you wanted it to, to begin with. Or maybe it was, but this person is resisting it. You coming up as the King of Pentacles, or they are. This person could be coming to you like they really want to commit to you. Otherwise, they coming after your finances, whether you male or female. Because coming up as the king of pentacles as a woman, that means you're doing very well. If not, this is a masculine energy that's acting as if they're coming back to give you, you know, this ace of cups energy. 
But I'm trying to figure out what's the unhappiness here. But why is calling in a storm here? We gonna, we gonna clarify that. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. I'm telling you. This person wanna stop you from moving forward. <laughs> it's like... That nine of pentacles kind of came out sideways. So I'm, I'm taking that as the energy of this individual um, wanting to dump their burdens off on you. It's like you could be doing well. Your finances could be really balanced, especially for a single person. You know, you could be not struggling right now, doing really well. But this person want to come and dump their burdens some fade off on you. They do. They do. They only thinking about their self, but they come in forth with that same cloaked energy that they was in before. Let's see. Why is calling in the storm here? Because this person want to break you down. They don't want you to be independent. Yeah. Calling in the storm. Listen, they've been manifesting you, but since you ain't coming towards you, they coming to take that. Period. Somebody here don't, don't care what you want. It's like, I'm going to get what I want out of this situation. This person is being courageous and they finally stepping towards you because I feel like they've been trying to manifest you. It's like they looking over here at you like, okay, you just, you ain't going to stop looking at that ugly bird. I'm over here with this big old pinnacle. Big old wine, big old whatever they got. <laughs> and you ain't over here paying attention. You over there want to be single and I'm over here in this husband energy trying to call you in. Because why you over there standing up? You could just already trot your ass over here instead of making me have to come get you. But since you didn't adhere to that and this person sees that you as a magician, you are just as powerful as they are. And so now this person about to get brave and go on this journey towards you. And it looked like they slightly annoyed too. I'm not even going to hold you. Because this person was very confident that they was going to be able to um, keep you going in circles, so to speak. D Listen, man. If you got a new person, whether they a man or a woman, this person coming in to fight that person off. I just feel overall, Aquarius, whoever this person is, they have a very chaotic current reality. And when this person came around you, you know, they felt a sense of peace. There was this sense of serenity in your presence. And I don't really know why this person would want to taint that. And I don't even know that they, maybe they don't even know that they are, but maybe it's just that whatever it is that's over their life. That's causing them suffering, causing them loss or causing them whatever else is making them feel like they faded to suffer. That person can be transferring that to you through sexual intercourse, through gift exchange, through exchange of energy in any kind of way that you guys are exchanging of energy. Sometimes I don't even let people touch my hair. And you know when you got like locks or curly hair, people be wanting to touch your hair. But it's like, no, you can't touch my antennas, you know. But sometimes people be just hoping that a strand gonna fall so they could take that and go do something with it. So let's see. Why is the nine of swords here in reverse? Yeah. This person can't really sleep for real because they've been expecting you to come forth. They feel like, they feel guilty for breaking your heart. They feel like they ran out of time too. Because you could be taking a risk and like finally pulling back your, your energy, your love. And maybe they can feel that energetically because this person is a bit of a energy vampire, whether they know it or not. Whoever this is, it's like they need some supply. They need you to rain that down on them. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Yeah. See, this person knows that they sabotaged it. And they could feel like, damn, you was everything I wanted and now I'm not going to get it. The coffin is here, man. This person feel like they killed their own growth and good luck. This is crazy. 
with this coffee here. Why is the coffee here? Because this person feel like you're moving on. They feel like you were supposed to be their storks and four-leaf clover. They may have felt like you guys are supposed to go to the next level together, possibly marry in the future, or if this was a business, you know, maybe this person bailed on you. They see you still doing well without them, and now they want to come mess it all up because maybe they, they got lazy or they, they gave up on it, and you kept going, and now you're reaping the benefits, and now this person want to come back and grow and bask in the ambiance of your freaking success, good luck, fortune, graduation to the next level when it comes down to any and everything that you may be experiencing this person sees you like strongly manifesting things that you want for yourself and it's like damn why is it that my life seems so stagnant but maybe it's because this person has so much ego and feels the need to have so much control you know they need to ha have some type of solution to their problems instead of looking for somebody to just dump those burdens on because right here, it seems like this person ain't getting nothing they want and you getting everything you want. And now this person is in regret about it. And that's why they want to just be brave. They want to set their pride to the side because all this time they've been so prideful that they couldn't come towards you. It was just like kind of waiting for you to come around. Yeah, now this person see for real. They see you in your stability and they just looking over there at you. They want to know what's the secret. What's the secret to the Ten of Pentacles? They want to have this Ten of Pentacles, maybe even secretly. Or maybe this person is secretly married. Why are you over here single? You know, they could be the King of Pentacles because they somebody else's husband. And that situation can be dead and they can see you flourishing in something new that's going to go far. Why is the Magician here? Thief, y'all. Ooh, look at that. Energy thief. Just like I said, they was trying to steal you energetically or get you to come towards them or choose another route. Or they could have even been like messing up your relationships through magic, trying to get you not to choose nobody or turn down every little offer you get. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here, Spirit? Ooh, somebody is not happy. Something heavy that they they felt like was weighing them down. They freed themselves from. They feel like they went in the wrong direction, whoever this is. So I don't know what happened, you know. But whatever happened, it's like it's a burden. And it could be a child. <laughs> we got the sun in reverse and the sun in reverse, basically. The S-U-N in reverse and the S-O-N in reverse. And like it's like now, and this could have been with somebody that they barely knew too. So if this person is finding out a child isn't there, it's like that's the reason why they ended things with you is because they did and they wanted to try to make it work with whoever was um, telling them that they was getting ready to father a child of theirs. And your person could be disappointed because now they feel like they killed their own destiny believing in somebody that was lying to them. That's tough. I ain't saying that to be funny either. That's really tough. Because actually speaking, this person was kind of doing the right thing. I ain't even trying to be funny. But you should at least try, you know, especially if it was something new. It's like, let's see if we can make it work out for the sake of the child. But no, nah, you don't just stay in the toxic. Because, like, if you already know it can't work, don't try, you know. But let's say you just met a guy. You met a guy and he was dating and... He got somebody pregnant. You would damn near suggest he stay with her, right? Like, well, okay, see if y'all can work it out then. I mean, you just met him. So I feel like this was one of them situations because, Aquarius, this could have been something that was very new for you. Or, again, take it as it resonates because not, it's, it's not going to be romance for all of you guys. You know, you'll know who the, how this person shows up in your life. Because even if that Knight of Wands is just bravery, like this person just trying to come towards you so that they can get a piece of whatever accomplishments. Like, hey, remember we was teamed up? Let's do that again. You know, but whatever the case is, this person steals your ideas and goes off and benefits from them on your own, on their own. And if not, then this person is with somebody and they benefiting off your energy. And that's not what's up, Aquarius. Because if they get in your energy and they giving somebody else their energy, they also giving your energy. Ooh, 
what is this person's intentions towards Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of July, 2021? Dress the alchemy. So, Spirit just, you know, Spirit wants, you, you listen, you a lesson to this person. With the 33 being here and address the alchemy, this is like the counterpart to the ma magician. So what they didn't realize is that they came into the life of somebody that if you got to put this dress on, because with the dress of alchemy, it's like when it comes time, then you got to do what you got to do. Okay. This person may also learn a lesson. This person could have used chickens or whatever, because I'm seeing some chickens in there and I ain't never noticed that. Matter of fact, it's a three-headed chicken. But this person could have used like actual birds or chickens or something like that or even chicken bones. I don't know. I don't even go this deep with this shit. So I don't really know what all kind of stuff is out there. See, that was another thing. You guys could have been completely different from each other. And like I said, that could have been the... The contrast of you guys because this person was acting to be one way when they were some way else. And this person can't understand for the life of them why they feel so drawn to you if they feel like they can't be with you. This person just have things that they need to solve within themselves first. Let's get one more. Yeah. Clean up time. So yeah, you did. You eliminated this person out of your life because you feel like things have happened too many times. It says the three fates. What goes around? What goes around comes around. Yeah, this person had other people in their ear. Oh, this person is strange. They too different. And like I said, they also don't like how ambitious you are because it makes them feel like they just not. It make them feel like they can't live up to you. It make them feel like you're going to see them in a true light. And we already know that these individuals are really. Um, these individuals are really wanting to cloak who they are. And maybe they do that around people that they meet because with the faceless ghosts, this is like people that haven't quite found themselves yet. This person need to clean up their life. Maybe they hoping that you being in your presence is going to help them. But it's like they feel like you work too hard to pay attention to them. This person denied you because they felt like you was too good to be true out of their league. Something. It was something about it. And maybe you even gave this person three chances. Or spirit did. And I noticed that, wow, I didn't even notice this before, that they cut in a cord. And you could have just cut the cord with this person. You seen what was underneath the uh, the dream that they presented you with. This person sold you a dream. That's what it is. That per chance to dream. It's like, you know what? I'm going to be everything that this person want me to be so I can be a part of whatever it is that they got going on. Even if my intentions aren't all that. I'm going to just get one on each card. Why is the dress of alchemy here? Release your power. Yeah, look at this. Everything this person do come right back to them. And again, it's something about your energy where they just thought they was going to dump their heaviness, their responsibilities, all their heavy energy and burdens, and they was going to take away your good energy and go back elsewhere with it. And it's like now you realizing that this is kind of like dampering your world. Yeah, you know, you could have put up with it for so long already because you saw that this person was, look at this, this was an upright, it flipped in reverse. This person was a past life love for you, Aquarius. So you, if you felt a strong attachment or, that you know, if they wasn't a romantic partner, they could have been a sibling or a twin, like an actual twin sibling of yours in another lifetime. It could even be your sibling that did this, you know. 
Yeah, this person's lies are coming out. Something is being exposed about this. So the, the, the chapter is not quite done because I feel like some way, somehow, God is going to put this person's karma on display for you, you know? Man, I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, it's going to put them in a state where they're not going to be able to move forward. This is probably the state that they wanted you to be in because I am getting what goes around, comes around. But it's like they walked away, they walked in a new direction, and now this person's health is ailing. For some of you, they even got to walk with a cane. Like, they would, it wasn't, <laughs> they, and they could be pretty young too. For some of you, they can be older. But um, if this person had a business, they're going to lose it. If this person was supposed to be traveling really soon or if they had other options, they're going to lose that. If they were like progressing fast in their business or something, then it's going to start to break even. Like they're going to be spending the same amount on supplies as what the business that's coming in. So it's like they're going to be in the red soon. Also, I feel like their lies are going to be publicly displayed. I don't know how. And that could be how you're going to find out. So somebody may expose them, tag you, or expose them, screenshot it, send it to you through the DM. But with the emperor in reverse, you know, it's letting me know that this, this person is losing a position. Whether it's causing them to, like, lose some kids or find out that some children wasn't even theirs. And it could be, like, newly born kids. Y'all, yeah, I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is trapped. It's like they want to take a leap of faith, but they trapped. And the reason why they really can't come towards you is because all this that's going on behind the scenes, they did not let you know. It's like they're not even emotionally available towards this individual anymore. And it's like they their feelings for you are secret. The feelings that they want you to be their wife. But they can't let go of something toxic. They're having a hard time detaching away from something that is just breeding a negative attachment. A lot of secrets. A lot of lies. A lot of narcissism. A lot of hoeing around. A lot of depression. A lot of third-party situations. Shit, somebody asked, I don't know. I was getting this in Pisces reading too. So some of y'all can be Aquarius, Pisces, cuss. But because of some type of lifestyle, they could have been living with somebody. Somebody here could be passing the hell away. And my condolence to whoever that is. Because I know it just sounds like I'm saying it's so plain. But, Whew, all right, y'all. So that was y'all reading for the month of July, 2021. Like, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but honestly, this person may not be the best to go back to because they got a lot of stuff that they need to clean up before they even come rubbing that off on you. And like I said, if your manifestation stopped moving when this person came in, it's because they was dumping their energetic heaviness onto you and taking your light back to somebody else. And you got to be careful with people that's like that because a lot of people can say that they changed out of desperation and want your help, but have they really though, you know? have they really but anyways guys like share comment and subscribe join the soul tribe and i'll check you guys out on the next one